into someone else's pocket, into someone else's employment. Well, okay, after the 10 days and they are employed through your services and someone else picks them up and employ this person, how can you assist that person in keeping that job or give them some kind of moral support? Uh, what is your further development of that person who has gotten that job through you? What I do is I do follow-up calls. Not only do I do follow-up calls, I always, uh, always, always ask the employer, please contact me to let me know how that person is working out. I mean, they have the opportunity, they have the option, uh, I may say that, uh, they have an option if the person does not work out after mm -hmm. they employ them, they still can come back to me, and I will try to find them a qualified person. Is there any um, drop-off point or where you would become or throw your hands up in the air and say, this person is not employable. I have done the best I could, but I cannot help this person any longer. Can that rise or has it arisen yet? Or I haven't had a arisen. I did have a situation where that someone says, well, I wasn't happy at this particular job, mm -hmm. and they were blessed. <laughs> they were oh, really blessed okay. because... We went from point A to point B, mm -hmm. and uh, they went from one job to another job in a matter of, uh, you can say, like uh, two weeks. Okay. Two weeks. I was able to, to find employment for that person in two weeks. Reemployment. I Reemployment mean. in mm -hmm. two weeks, mm -hmm. and they're happy now where they're at. Well, is there any uh, obligation on your part to inform the new employer about the past experience of this uh, uh, client of yours in seeking a job? Can you... Would you pull the pin on the person? Would you stop the person? Would you spill the beans? It's not my responsibility to spill the beans <laughs> on a person. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, like I say, no one okay. has a, a, mm -hmm. a pass. If, if, if you're giving a person a chance and you're an employer, mm -hmm. you have a, even corporate America, they know, the, we all know the rules. And the rules is if you give a person a chance and they show that their worthiness uh, to work, um, my, my thing is, give that person a chance, give me a follow-up call, let me know how they work out, and if they do not work out, you know, uh, let me know. Let me know. Okay. And I'll do what I can for you to replace that person. Okay. Um, a nation, a community, a city, um, territory is usually uh, is known by the way it treats its senior citizens and is very young. Mm -hmm. and, and what's in between? Okay. Now, how do you treat the very young? We have a lot of problems on the street. And you know, when I ran for Cook County Sheriff uh, this past uh, year during the whole campaign, I ran into a lot of young folks and they were expressing a lot of fears and, and hope and joy, but it was always that fear and that frown on their face. Uh, what can you do at your organization? How can you go to the people who are maybe are not you know, working or uh, working age, what can you begin to direct them into a work world where they can be prepared? Well, what I did with the young people, uh, and I must, I must uh, commend the young people that I've came across, they had the bitterness. I had a certain, certain situation where I had a couple of disruptive people, but when they found out that I had something that was worthwhile talking about, uh, showing them how to become young entrepreneurs because there's some such thing as a young entrepreneur. My children are young entrepreneurs. Uh, they, they have started up their own businesses. And uh, you, you just go out and you step out on it. Whatever your dream is, you don't have a dream anymore. You step out on it, you write it down, and it's a venture. You're working. You're working towards your goal, and you set a goal. With the young people, you give them something to, you give them something to, to strive for. If they can stand on the corner and, and sell drugs or whatever, you know, you show them if you can do this for someone else, you can work for yourself. But take your skills. You have a hidden talent and use it. Well, poverty is the bottom line. We can be educated. We can have uh, all different things going for us uh, in life. But poverty seems to be the bottom line. That seems to be a, a home wrecker, a street wrecker. Uh, it causes all kind of a, a turmoil in our community. And you're on the right track from what I'm watching and observing from you, Miss Ison. But poverty seems to follow the African-American no matter on what level that person is, has attained. What can we do? If we have a good job, poverty surrounds us. We're always looked upon as being uh, uh, caught up in that web. What would you suggest to our, our, our audience out there 
for them to uh, disregard the, uh, the poverty and the things that have controlled their life once they step into the work world or into the educational world when they're working towards uh, uh, gain. What can we do to overcome this? For those people, and, and I heard you say that have good jobs mm -hmm. uh, or have made it successful, give back to the community of where you came from. Get politically involved. Uh, mm -hmm. Do what you can to help uh, people that are in the poverty levels buy mm -hmm. back the communities where mm -hmm. you live at. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have boarded up homes and, and, and uh, buildings, use the buildings. Utilize them. Don't mm -hmm. tear them down. Utilize them. Mm -hmm. You have all these people out here that say that they're ha they have skills in uh, carpentry, drywalls, whatever per se they may have. Put those people to work. Develop a business. Develop a, a part-time business. Go into business for yourself part-time if you have an excellent job. You can have a job and, and still have a business and let someone else run that business for you. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't that uh, partly what uh, S&E personnel service is all about? For your employment opportunities. I saw that in small print. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we mean by employment opportunities? Uh, what what would be your guiding light to get employment opportunities for the for the uh, misguided person out there who, who who has just thrown everything up in the air and just going towards all the uh, ills and developing skills in the ills and not in uh, doing anything differently from that personal uh, a personal against personal self assessment uh, I would talk to that person. We have one-on-one -on -one counseling. We do mm -hmm. give that person that, that incentive. I have seminars. I give seminars. I go to the high schools and different organizations to give seminars. And I, I show those persons that, I mean, you're not a failure. Take, take your failure, turn it inside out, and make it your success. Mm -hmm. Take your illness and turn it into success. You can do that. You can do anything that you put your mind to it, but you have to. It has to be you. Very good, very good. This is Hotline 21. Harold Washington Party. The call-in number is 738-1060. For some reason, the phones are down, and uh, we're trying to make adjustments. But if you can't reach us tonight, by all means, call us. Call me, William Brown, or call Miss Ison, Angel, first name, a very befitting name, Angel, okay? <laughs> that number is 1-800, no cost to you, 322-1600. Five, four. And let's go to our overhead. These are our candidates in the upcoming February 28 election. We have Lawrence C. Redmond running for mayor of the city of Chicago. Uh, Raisley Munoz, clerk, city clerk. Our Leather Branch, city treasurer. These are our candidates. Petitions are being circulated out there. So at the first opportunity you get, take heed and call us at this 800 number. We need help. We need volunteers to help us out there to get the proper materials so we can get them on the ballot for February 28th, 1995. That number is 1-800-322-1654. Now, as we move towards the new year and the holidays are popping up there and people are going to be looking to have these gifts and it's going to take money for all of us to accomplish our gift giving our, our, our feasting with the family with friends what is available right now a quick fix for someone who needs a job right now and cannot wait instead of going out there knocking someone in their head pushing someone's car off the street taking the tires and anything what can we give the people right now something some help right now immediate help quick fix there i, I don't the term quick fix i'm not gonna <laughs> say quick fix we know where that come from uh -huh. but as far as uh to stop you know to cut the crime rate. There are mm -hmm. plenty of opportunities that are out here. There are companies that are hiring what they call seasonal jobs. If you need some help getting a seasonal job, feel, again, feel free to give us a call on the 1-800 line, and I'll be more than happy to do as much as I can for you. Uh, there are seasonal jobs that are out here. You have a hidden skill. Use it. 
make that make money for yourself doing that uh, all the way from child care all the way to doing some type of consulting or whatever you whatever you're good at you know you have a skill you have a job